Hey y'all, it's Drew and we're back with another film breakdown video. Today we're going to go over Texas A&M beating Arkansas this past weekend. Now if you haven't seen my previous video, please go check it out. It'll be linked in the description down below. It's my breakdown on Arkansas's offense and how they like to run a fast paced RPO style of play and what that means. Now for today's video, we're going to go into Texas A&M's offense and mainly Kellen Mond because he posted his best passer rating in his entire career at Texas A&M. He also passed Johnny Manziel for the most yards in Texas A&M history. Also, for the defensive perspective, we're going to show you how we were able to slow down this Arkansas style of play, what we were able to do in adjustments. So that's what we got for today's video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to the channel, like it, give it a comment. I really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, to start, we're going to talk about Kellen Mond and more specifically how he was able to run and how he was able to pass under pressure, without pressure, going through his progressions, all of those different things. So let's start off on how Jimbo is unleashing Kellen Mond. He's letting him run as a quarterback. He's been hesitant to do that, to keep him healthy, to kind of make sure he understands his progressions as a read, but now he is really letting him doing that. And he's doing it through design run plays. You can see right here, he's catching and running immediately. And that's what we like to be able to do as a quarterback, to get five on a run play. It really opens up the defense, gets a plus one in the run game. It's great. We also have the availability to do a read option play. We're reading this outside in who crashes so hard, so now we're taking it and we're running up field getting 10 yards for a first down. Lastly, I like to show that we are able to extend the plays in, a, in the pocket. Okay, so we have play action pass, offensive line great blocking, eventually nothing's open, so let's kind of extend the play and go ahead and get some more yardage in that capacity. Over here, we're gonna have the availability to throw with a clean pocket and strikes down the field. So yet we are accurate and we have a good offensive line to help us out with that. Not only with a good offensive line, we're able to go through our progressions when things aren't looking. You saw him look right. Now he's looking kind of middle right. Now he looks far middle. So maybe that was his third. I don't know if it was a second or third read, but it, it, in essence, it's the same thing. He's able to go through his reads and he is a great over the top ball right here. Waldemeyer is a great tight end. Uh, lastly, I want to show you how he's able to throw in pressure with toughness. When this guy is going to hit him, he knows he has to throw it off of his back foot for the TD. That's how it's done. Um, this is a run play. I just wanted to show it. Obviously, our running game was so good. We could go into more detail. Don't need to. But ready? Whoop. <laughs> oh, big fella. That was pretty cool. I just wanted to show that because it was great. Now let's move on to the defense. Now, like I said, if you've watched my videos, you know what's coming on their offensive side. They have one play that essentially turns into three, four, or five plays, right? They like to run a lot of RPO, they like to read option, like to run it fast. They go uh, no huddle, up tempo, offense. And they also like to throw in a lot of wrinkles and trick plays. So let's get into how AM was able to bend, not break, and then eventually not even bend at all. And we were able to sniff out what they have. So like in all plays, we have the normal toss or the normal type of play, and eventually they're going to do something off of it. So now they do the fake toss, and they're going to throw to a play, right? So every play has a play within a play, and it breaks down, a and tackles them through the turf monster, okay? So you see, we have one play, they fake that play, they run a counter play off of it. Okay, now let's look. We're running a normal read option. Running back's going to go outside. Quarterback's going to be the gash player. He likes to sit down here, so the quarterback runs it. Now, in our next play, instead of the quarterback as the gash player, the running back will be the gash player, and the quarterback can keep it outside, and that's exactly what he does, right? Fake that way, that way. So you can change who goes, right? It's either that way or that way, okay? So his first quarter, it happens, right? Stuff like that goes. You even have more plays, RPO, not just read option, run pass option. Linebackers get sucked up with the run. We release this tight end out route. So we do a little pop play. So as you can see, he was in within here and he kind of just releases. Okay, but you can also run it from a wide receiver standpoint. You have the linebackers get sucked up and you run a slant route back here. Okay, if he's so inside, we know that that slant route's open. Not only can you run that, you can also just run combo routes, okay? We're just going to do either a token fake, and we run two hitches. 
But the theme of this video is how AM was able to sniff out the plays. If you run the concepts, if you run them multiple times, it essentially becomes one whole play and you figure it out. And when you run a play twice and you run both of those hitches, boom, we jump on the ball. We should have caught it. Come on, Miles Jones. You got to get that pick six, baby. But, I mean, it's the exact same play, guys. Two hitches, play action. And when you throw it, we know what's coming. Boom. Okay. So over here, what we also have is the ability to throw little, you know, screen passes out here. These arrows, these flat routes, these out routes, whatever you want to call it in your terminology. You're able to just throw out and get blockers in space. And so eventually AM figures that out, that they're going to take this guy and he's going to go outwards. Okay. Play action. So we run with it. Everyone's on him. So the quarterback has to bail. He does get some yards, but that's not going to win you a football game if you are always not having the go-to play that you have. Now, this other type of play style they had was this rollout draw play backwards. You guys seen this in our videos. That's what really got them right here. But eventually, they do a counter off of that. And AM is very smart. Second quarter, we're kind of learning what's going on. They bring it around. Everyone's rallying to the football. And even if they do the same type of trick play, but instead of having someone come that way, we still have the backside trick play figured out. They ran a little back screen. If you just roll out sprint to that side, okay, this side will be covered. We're gonna make sure nothing backside's handled, but we can come through clean and really wreak some havoc. We got a lot of sacks, which helped us. Pressure really helps this whole mesh offense where you're, you know, getting players in different positions, running left, right, up, middle, back. When you can just blow up the whole play, it really does help. Um, lastly, what they do is a lot of trick plays. Oh, look, they're going to run outside with pulling guards. Psych, the guy is going to throw it, okay? But when we have pressure and our defensive back plays it perfectly, Leon, finally, good job. There's that. And the other play that we had was the fake bubble screen and slip out. Remember, we talked about this. It's the little stock and go play from this outside guy. Oh, I'm going to block. Just kidding. I'm going to go up. And so when you fake this and he comes out and releases up here, we have it covered. And even when he tries to look downfield, we have him. So that was the theme of the game, y'all. It was AM was disciplined on offense. We didn't turn the ball over. We ran the ball well. We threw the ball well. And on defense, we eventually figured out their offense, and we made sure we were able to make stops and hold them to field goals, which they eventually missed. So that's what I have for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Please subscribe, like, comment what videos you want me to do in the future. I really appreciate everything that you all have done. I'm almost to 100 subscribers, so I would really appreciate if we could try to get the word out and get there. But thank you all for watching the video. Without further ado, I'll see you all in the next one.